Hi guys, welcome back to DAT. Here we are in the English countryside. We're gonna do the first test of these Axia HDs on my DJI HD goggles, obviously. This is the winter in the UK. It's not the best for FPVing, but the sun's out. The ground's wet as anything, so I'm begging that I won't actually crash. So I'm gonna ping these out as far as I'm, as far as I feel comfortable with, because I haven't got GPS, I haven't got failsafe or anything like that, and I don't really fancy traipsing over all these fields to go and get it when it just falls out of the sky. So we're gonna see how far it can get, I'm comfortable with, and then we'll do some pinging around behind some obstacles as well and see what that's like. So here we go. This is just straight out, no turning, straight line. I've got all my bars. Lost the bar. All my bars are back. Me, that's really far. No break up, I've lost one bar. Okay, I'm going to turn around. I'm gonna start going a little bit lower, see if there's any break up. There's a bit of break up there. 25 megabits of back. So we're doing okay. We almost got attacked by a bird then. So I'm gonna go low, see if tree lines do anything. Yeah, there's a little bit of latency there. That was a good experience. If I'm honest, I'm petrified that I'll have to go and fetch this thing. These fields are actually quite huge, so I'll see if I can actually get a, a pin map or actually get the distance how far it went. But there's no break up at all whatsoever. So I'm pretty sure I can go a lot further. So yeah, let's try some tree coverage, see what happens. Let's go low. See, so yeah, I don't want to go into that shit, do I? Problem with winter or the UK FPV scene. It's just shit and mud and water everywhere. There's some funny break up close. That's the tree that I crashed in. I mean, I know you're supposed to go, what is it, a few miles or a few kilometers on these bloody goggles. Just, I'd just shit myself, if I'm honest with you. <clears throat> but yeah, you saw that, there's no breakup. I'm gonna do a couple more flights as well when I've got a chance, and I'll see if I can push it a little bit further, see how comfortable I am. But from what I've seen, it looks okay. I do get some break to the side, so I think you do have to sort of try and keep the drone in front of you for the best reception. I think that was probably the furthest that I've ever flown. I 
and I'm actually down a little ridge. Bring us in. It's a brand new battery, so I don't want to screw it too much. There you go, guys. That wasn't too bad. So I will actually try and. Uh, pin mark it so you can see actually how far it went. I think it went pretty far to be honest with you. There was no breakup, uh, there's no latency really. I had the full megabits per second, nothing went, it was all there. Flight was good, I think I just lost my nerve a little bit. So I'm going to do a couple more flights and hopefully I'll ping those up as well and hopefully I can get further and further and further. I suppose it's just a bit of confidence in your gear as well. Like I said, I don't really do long distance flying, but that, there was no breakup, nothing at all. So I think that's pretty good. I might keep these on. Thanks a lot guys, hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe. See you again, cheers.